definitely want to talk about rock and roll because you got a lot of like LPs behind you there. You're in love with a woman named Luna. Congratulations on this film. As a producer, I know what that's like, you know, wearing that hat. It's it's very complex. Well, let's talk about what you took off the plate for Brit to make this project happen. Um, well, as a fellow uh, actor, writer, director, executive producer, I think a big thing with being a producer with a fellow director who's acting is seeing when they're overwhelmed and trying to say, what can I do to help you in this situation? If you had to say like three things that you've learned or that you can impart on someone else that a producer does or should, you know, kind of keep in mind, what would those things be? Um, one of the biggest things I learned was actually from a film festival. I didn't know what to do. I just produced my own kind of script, but I didn't know how to get out and meet other producers. And one of the women that I just kind of walked up to and said like, hi, how did you do this? Um, she told me to get really involved in the community. That was definitely a huge turning point in, in everything, taking that leap of faith. Oh, I would say learning everyone's job is huge and treating every single person on set as if they are, um, if they are above you or equal to you. That might be your boss one day. So treat them with kindness and respect and you can learn a lot from them. I couldn't have said this any better. Uh, well said and what's with the records? <laughs> My longtime partner is a um, DJ in our one bedroom apartment. It's basically like I have a five by five foot radius um, where I live. Congratulations. Thank you, Sam, for being on the show. Best of luck with that. Thank you so much. Follow me on social media at Melissa DeMarco for more exclusive content. I'll see you guys out there.